everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today I went and did archery at Axminster Leisure Centre and it was great fun. This is Roy. Uh, he's one of the instructors and the guy in the red t-shirt here is Steve. He is the other instructor. So the Together they run the show. <laughs> no, to be honest, it was really good. I mean, to start with, um, Roy uh, did a bit of a safety talk, of course, because archery can be dangerous. Um, everything has to be a little bit controlled. And um, he explained a couple of rules. So we have some arm guards and some finger tabs. And then, of course, here the bows. Yes, all the bows. And then uh, some people brought their own bows, of course, if you have them. Uh, if you just want to get started or just try it out, you don't need any equipment. It's all there. And then, of course, there are the targets. You might think they're quite far away, but it's OK. So to start with, um, you sort of get one to one tuition on how to stand how to draw back the string and how to load the arrow and all those kinds of things so that they know that um you know once you're shooting and once you're doing it properly they know that uh you know what you're doing so there we go so i am here ready for my first shot and the question is do i hit the target do i hit it and do i hit it <laughs> <laughs> oh dear so yes i was having great fun uh trying out um the archery uh it was a great group of uh, people really um the people attending were really good everybody wanted to be filmed as well so i didn't have to worry about trying not to uh, film anyone and yeah i was having great fun um yeah, they keep an eye on you, obviously, because they need to know that you're doing it safely and everything. But um, I was quite, yeah, look, look. And they were joking and they were laughing and, you know, are you hitting the target or are you not? You know, so it was, I mean, it was all good banter and we had a great evening, really. Um, The thing is, you see, I... I am an archer, I can shoot, so they didn't have to teach me all that much. Um, and here I am actually using my own bow. This is a long bow, it's made of yew and cherry wood. And um, it is a little bit um, stronger than the bow that they were allow, you know, that they use for those targets. Um, and yeah, you can see, am I hitting it? Yeah, I am hitting the target. Um, I hadn't shot for oh a long time, about five years. And there is always that, you know, it all comes back to you. But there's always that, um, you know, getting used to the range and the distance and everything like that. So, yes, I had great fun trying out, um, you know, my bow um, and also my arrows, which some of them were bent. But that's not an excuse. I know, I know. <laughs> No, obviously, you need to repair the bent ones. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah, I had great fun uh, shooting at that distance. Now, the two targets on this side are for beginners, and then the other targets here are for a little bit more advanced. So, I was told, or I was requested, to um, move to the advanced side of the hole because, of course, I was able to shoot, and I had a bow that had a little bit more power. So here are the advanced people. They've been shooting for a longer time. And as you can tell, they have um, a lot more equipment. They have their own bows. They have, look, they have stabilizers, sights and all kinds of things on their bows. Um, so yes, um, archery can get um, quite expensive if you go for those uh, really, um, you know, technical bows. Um, there are se sensible um normal uh you know sensible bows out there as well i had a long bow which i bought a long time ago um so people like either the technical bit um or like you know there's my long bow again um you know they like the more uh, traditional um shooting uh techniques so this lady here um and her husband they both uh shot and they um yeah they wanted to be filmed so we did and oh they like to be filmed and yeah so he was doing really well he had all the equipment 
um, and um, yeah, he was uh, shooting quite well. He had good grouping as well <laughs> on the target, so he shot all his arrows in one particular place. And that means if you can do that, you can have all your arrows, as you can see, see, if you can manage to get them all in the gold or the yellow bit there, then you can have high marks, of course. So here I am shooting at that uh, further away target. And yes, I am hitting it. <laughs> oh, dear. But it was great fun because obviously I hand shot for a long time and it was great fun to see that I was still able to do it and reasonable as well. I wasn't hitting the curtain in the back. <laughs> oh, dear. So this is my one of my arrows. <laughs> I'm not showing you the other ones. <laughs> and this is another chap. He liked uh, a nice wooden bow. As you can see, he's got wooden bow, but he's a left-handed one. So he's shooting on the other side of his bow from uh, where I was shooting. So there we go. That's some of his arrows in the target. And um, this was Roy. I challenged him to, <laughs> to shoot as well. And um, he was doing really well, of course, as the instructor. And I thought I'll have to include that in my video as well, of course. And um, yeah, look, I was trying to intimidate him by coming closer with my camera. Um, but of course, he was not to be intimidated. He just kept going. And of course, that is a, is the sign of a good instructor <laughs> or a good archer anyway. Um so yeah we had great fun uh, on the evening so i do have to thank everybody who was there because you all made me feel so welcome and especially the instructors because we had good laughs all round and um yeah i really enjoyed it i just wish i lived a little bit closer um for me to come and do this regularly but yeah it was a great evening so thank you very much roy and steve and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye